Good afternoon. Great to be here with you in the community. Deepest gratitude for the powerful shifts after the last private session. Mm. The journey continues to be so fascinating. I'm curious to hear anything you have to say. I am willing. Mm. Yeah, unfolding. We really see an unfolding process. You know, here in the meeting room, they have this long carpet. How long do you think that carpet is, Mayor? That one over there that you guys 18 roll. feet. 18 feet. And it stays rolled up. And then at, at the meeting, they put it down because our microphone cable stretches all the way across the room. And somebody usually gives it a kick and it rolls out. All right? You can picture that, that image. Another way to picture this is like when you make the, um, you put a cloth on a table, a picnic table, or the sheets on the bed, you kind of give them a thing like that and they do that. That's actually more the picture we're seeing for you is that you're in the sun and you're fli flipping up a cloth and it's billowing as it settles down. And that's your path. And you know, when you first flip the cloth, a lot of times it obscures your vision, right? Kind of kind of go up high in the air and you're just like, all I can see is my path but I cannot, I kind of prefer it down here someplace, right? So you're in that, it's billowed and it's just dropping so you can see the, the sun again, the, the blue sky is what we see and there's this white cloth and it's still billowing so you can't necessarily see where, what's ahead of you but you can see the promise of what's ahead of you. Do you understand? Because the light's there, the light at the end of the tunnel kind of a thing but it's very pretty and it's very flowing and it's very, I don't have to control it. I don't have to understand it. I don't have to explain it. I don't have to replicate it. I just, and there's that moment where I don't know where it's gonna land and you can go either, I don't know where it's gonna land so that freaks me out or you can go, I don't know where it's gonna land because I live in infinite possibilities, thank you very much. And we vote for the second one. And if you're not generating static in your infinite possibilities, well, okay then. Well, okay then. Because remember in the beginning we talked, you guys, seriously, please listen to that beginning talk again so that you remind yourself, we're not gonna be together again until the 12th of June, so remind yourself, am I making static? Because you can imagine, right, here we go, it's gonna be perfect, you're gonna think we're awesome, get ready, we know it. You throw that thing out in the air and it's billowy and pretty in the sunshine, but if it's all static clingy, what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> Static's not even good in that picture. Don't static cling yourself. It's a good picture. Your path, your infinite possibilities are, are like this quantum waveform thing laying itself out in front of you and it only holds still you know like the whole thing with the electrons they only you only really know where they are when you're actually interacting with them that's your step by step only when you're on that step is that step even present for you but if you're doing static it's just stuck to your left shoulder and you can't step on it when it's stuck to your left shoulder it's funny it's funny right it's a good visual. It is a good visual. So as you let that cloth of your, f of your path, let it have its chance to ripple around, right? That's why the visionaries only talk about trajectory. They don't talk about blueprint anymore, right? Remember when we went off blueprint some time ago? The visionaries aren't saying, this is how you do it. They say, just point this direction. Wait, wait, a little bit to the left. Point that direction. So that when it does this bit, you're pointing in the right direction so you see that blue sky. And when you see that blue sky, you have hope. And as that starts to settle, you don't try to control it, but instead you allow the fred energy of the, of the playfulness with wherever it lands be your truth. The playfulness with wherever it lands be your truth. That's really the beauty of it. And, and, and Syrah's question really illuminates that's what we see you doing, is, is, is it's dropping down, you don't know where it's gonna land, 
you see that blue sky, the sun's shining, your family's around you, and it, no matter how it lands, it's only really there when you put your foot on it anyway, your first step. So allowing infinite possibilities to exist as it's floating down and not generating static in that moment maximizes every potential, maximizes the opportunity for you to experience, maximizes the idea that it may occur, it maximizes everything. It's in that moment of it floating down. That's the key. How you behave in that moment. It's the same thing with Joseph's question. In that moment, it's floating down. It goes back to Devin's question. Where am I going to put my next footstep as it's floating down? You're all in this place of as it's floating down. And you can see that if you demand that it lands flat or perfect or square, how ridiculous that idea is. And we hope you can see that the ripples and the waves of it are this, are this real indication of that fractal stuff that Fred was talking about, about the, the twists and the turns and how it all can go. That all means opportunity. That's like going to the grocery store and you walk in and there's just one loaf of bread and one brand of peanut butter and you're like, I don't like that kind. Instead, you walk into a giant grocery store where there's so many choices and you're the one who gets to pick. If you expect that cloth to land flat and perfect and square and never get wrinkled and birds no poo on it, and nobody spills any juice on it, welcome to the grocery store of two op items. If instead, as it's falling, you say, I have a step to make and I'm going to step right on the edge oh, so the rest of it can keep laying out, not flap it down to try to be safe or secure or know the answer or have tomorrow be already figured out. None of that is going to get you where you want to go. None of y'all. Of course, Syra, we're talking to everybody now because we're at the end, aren't we? Is she the last one? No. Oh, we have more. more. Okay. So it's important. It's really important for everybody to know that's what your paths look like to us. And some of you look more, are, are more at the moment where that cloth has flown up and is kind of covering your eyes. Some of you have the Syra thing where you have just a glimmer of light. And some of you are starting to see that cloth start to fall. But all of you have the same responsibility, which is not to try to assume that you know how it's all going to land and not to decide ahead of time that it has to land in a certain way for you to feel safe and not to have preconceived notions about how it turns out anyway but to know step-by-step's step the only path. Okay.